what's going on eric here kind of getting back into the swing of things doing more videos going out finding more stuff and as every video would tell you who's got some stuff this guy's got some stuff unfortunately this video is not going to be a plentiful array of goodies um there are just times when you're collecting that you're gonna you're, you're just gonna have those really slow weeks and instead of being upset about it, I, I really thought to myself, well, why not just show what I did find? Because in the end, it's, it was decent stuff, and I'm very thankful to have it. So, I guess this is like a combination, like, this is like, I don't want to say it's a dumpster diving video, because a lot of this stuff was graciously given to me, and I really do appreciate that, and, um, it will call it the scraps. So this will be the scraps episode. Uh, so to start off this episode, I guess we'll go with, um, something I actually did pay for, and that is, um, oh, missed one. A while back, GameStop was having a buy two, get one free deal on their Wii games, and I love collecting for the Wii. I don't have nearly as many Wii games as I would like. I desperately need to get more shelving in here. So, I just got some cheapo games to add to the collection. Uh, right now, a lot of GameStops in the area... Um, they're kind of running out on their their cheap $1 game, so I think I'm going to venture on to Microplay in the next couple of weeks and probably just uh, raid what they have. But what I did get was pretty good. So for about 5 or 6 bucks, I got Elements, which I heard is a it's a pretty fun game. I, I was told it's a very I was told it's a very cheap hide and go seek game or and I don't know. I, I don't know. It, the, the cover looks adorable, so I'm, I'm sold on it. Prince of Persia Rival Swords. Um, didn't really know too much about this. Um, the motion controls I heard were not the best, but we'll see. SSX Blur. I love the cover on this. It's very comic book style. I'm, uh, I wish I could say the, that the graphics look promising, but uh, those games have always been really known for the snowboarding mechanics and it's very fluent I'd say probably better than Tony Hawk at times but we don't talk about Tony Hawk these days so Marvel Saga uh, Kororimpa I guess it's, it's a Marvel Madness game so if you've never heard of Marvel Madness uh, the NES version is pretty good um, the the arcade download for 360 and I, I think it's for PS3 I'm not sure that's amazing too go check it out uh, Facebreaker KO Party for the Wii. I played the 360 version of that game. I gotta tell you, I was kind of promising at first, but there's a an extremely annoying difficulty spike towards the first third, or I want to say first third or half of the game, which almost makes it unplayable. It, it wants you to play in such a way that's not familiar that it almost kind of hurts it. But... For a dollar, why not? And the last one I got was Rec Room Games for the Wii. It's just a bunch of uh, mini games. Uh, primarily bowling, foosball, uh, whack-a-mole, darts, and just various games about that. So, five, six bucks on that, which is pretty good. I like, I love getting a cheap Wii games. Especially when they're on sale like that. Um... These were all, we'll call them gifts, because these were in the process of getting thrown out. But I did get them, and they do work for the most part. One of uh, They're a little testy, but I can just get them rebuffered. Uh, but I now have an extra copy of Wii Sports, so if you need that, let me know. Um, NBA Ballers, which I was kind of shocked to find. Um, I like these basketball games. I like basketball games in general. It's just it, there's just really not a lot there to keep me interested in it. I was always when I grew up, I played Arch Rivals a lot, uh, Double Dribble quite a bit. Um, I remember playing Jordan versus Bird on the uh, on the old Max, and of course NBA Jam, um, NBA Street. Um, but I guess as the franchise really got aware of itself, I just didn't really have much of an interest. Uh, Skylander Spyro's Adventure. I'm not a fan of. Skylanders. I don't collect Skylanders. Um, I might someday, depending. Um, but for right now, I'm stuck. I'm not stuck, but 
collecting video games, as well as pop figures, and also one other thing which I will be showing later. And Splitter Cell Conviction, I think this series has gotten a really good facelift over the last five, six years, and I nearly dropped that game again. It's it's a trend you can't avoid. It really is. <laughs> Splitter Cell, good series, really um, really coming into its own, and good for that, you know. Um, the rest were just various donations, which I was very, very pleased to get. And a lot of people kind of look at this stuff and they think, oh, it's garbage, it's not worth anything but honestly it could all go to sorb to some sort of bigger use and I'm someone that likes to try and make projects out of many little things so what I got was four actually no five Wiimote sleeves uh, one clear one two black ones still on the bag and then another two more black Wiimote sleeves, but these were ones were fitted with the um, the Wii Motion Plus attachment. So I like having these. I like having grips on the Wiimote because I feel like sometimes when you're uh, playing the just the games that heavily require you to flail it around like you're dueling somebody. I like the feeling that I'm not going to lose it because I've I remember when the Wii first came out, and a lot of you probably saw the pictures of people who lost control of their Wiimote and it just flew off the wrist strap and just impaled televisions galore so pretty good stuff there um the rest are cases and i know boring boring cases no one likes cases but i like to have cases specifically specifically sony cases because i don't like i don't like how big and rectangular the wii and the xbox 360 cases are but i do love how compact the PS3 and PS4 cases. So, I got six empty PS4 cases, and every single one of them um, can hold up to three discs in them, which is amazing, So, because if I need the extra storage for DVDs or even CDs even, um, there is a program that I use to print out labels of sorts, and it's I like it. I think it's a really cool way to kind of like update collections of loose games uh, as well as PS2 games um, that need cases desperately and uh, I got six PS3 cases a part of one just came off still good uh, six PS3 cases I like these black ones more than I like the see-through ones but I I say I like these ones the red ones and then the uh, the see-through ones these are probably my favorite ones um, Chad Bailey awesome guy go check out his channel if you haven't seen it um he's been making an awesome project out of turning his loose ps1 games um putting them in these cases and making custom labels on the pro on the program that he uses and i i think it makes ps1 games look so much better if ps1 games were sold in these with the custom cases he were using it would make every collection look a lot better. I, I mean, I'm all for gem cases and all, but between CDs, uh, Dreamcast, um, Turbo Graphics, uh, a, a lot, CDI, a, a, any of those, they all have gem cases. So having them in these would have been a nice change of pace. But again, I can use, I love having these extra cases. I did have an entire box full of. The others, the original DVD style cases, but those are going to be tossed because I have, I really don't have much of a use for them. They're just taking up space. Um, what else did I got? Uh, got a PS3 cable converter cord of just a simple red, red, white, and yellow. Um, got that for nothing. I got two. I got two Wii base stands, and I really enjoy these because whenever I see people selling Nintendo Wiis, they never have these bases. And I tell everyone, yeah, it's not necessary, but at the same time, like, Wiis can tip over fairly simply. And I like having these, especially with um, the wide, uh, semi, kind of circular base. Um, this one does have the base. I don't know where it went. I'll just have to look for it. So, a couple extra of these Wii bases, and gotta, gotta, you know, can't, can't have the full Wii experience without getting the Wii racing wheel. 
Um, I absolutely refuse to buy these for anything less than, or I, I'm sorry, I refuse to buy these for more than a few bucks. They're just plastic. They don't do anything. They have made so many generic knockoffs of this one that I'm, it's really no reason for me to even waste money on. Um, got a, whoa, just drop one. You got a couple more things, and then that's going to do it. Like I said, scraps, but, um, decent stuff. So, not too long ago, it was my birthday, and for my birthday, I got a Target gift card. And, um, one of the things I got with said gift card, because I'm, I'm not remembering the rest. Oh, I... I think it was a copy of uh, Labyrinth, and I got it the day David Bowie died, so um, I got that. But the one thing I did get that I absolutely loved was a Target-exclusive uh, Bath Time Deadpool, and these were less than 10 bucks each. It was this, the normal Deadpool with the guns. There was another Deadpool with his katanas, and then he had a couple wrestling Deadpools. It was, there was Roddy Roddy Piper and Nature Boy Ric Flair. As much as I love wrestling, um, this was the last bath, bath time Deadpool. They had so many others of the rest. I was very upset to find out they did. There were no more Chef Deadpools because apparently they have um, the Pirate, the Chef, the Rubber Chicken, and the Cowboy. But the only ones they had were this was the last one of this. And then the rest were uh, the ones where he was given the thumbs up and the one where he was holding the uh, the sword. So, was really... Uh, I love pop figures. I I love collecting them. It's becoming a new hobby of mine, I think, right now. I don't have many, but... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> if only they were just a little bit cheaper than 10 bucks, but hey, you know. Could be worse. You could be collecting Amiibos. I said it. I don't care. Um, I'm just kidding. If you collect Amiibos, that's your that's your deal. I like pop figures. I, I just I I like the fact that it follows so many fandoms. Amiibos are very specific, and if that's your thing, cool. But pop figures follow everything: movies, TV shows, um, old old new Disney video games, everything. So the last thing I'll show you was something I got at Goodwill, and I got it for two bucks. So, I said at the beginning, aside from video games and pop figures or something else I collect, that other thing is board games. Um, apparently someone else in the area likes to collect board games because I haven't been able to find anything lately. However, I did manage to find a version of Monopoly that hit very close to home because it's based after a series that I watched while I was growing up and... I, if I saw it on TV, I'd probably watch it again. Um, it is complete. I got it for $2, and that would be a Looney Tunes Monopoly. Like I said, everything's there. All the, uh, the pewter collector pieces, all the properties, um, all of the houses, all of the theaters, everything. The, the game board is in immaculate shape. The box is slightly beat up in some of the corners, but you know what? As long as long as I can get a good visual of the side like this, because when I stack it, I'm going to be stacking it like this. As long as I can see that and it's not like it's peeling off, then that's all that really matters. So I love collecting board games and I've been on this huge Monopoly binge lately. I'm trying to find as many cheap Monopolies as humanly possible. I know GameStop is selling some Monopolies fairly cheap. Um, there is a few board games I'm trying to get right now, but I'm very much waiting for the price to drop because they're a little high. So, with all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I apologize that the goods were not in massive abundance here. Um... It just happens sometimes, and I figured this would be a nice way to kind of showcase that, hey, we do have some slow weeks, but, you know, if you enjoy what you're doing and you can make, you can, you know, make gold out of the stuff you get, then I think it's all worth it in the end, you know? So let me know what you think. Um, maybe in the comments below you can make in a sentence or two, tell me, um, what are some of, like, the worst weeks um, you've spent game hunting 
or something you or maybe like an awkward item you got while you were game hunting that you um were like no one else would want it but i would surely treasure it so put that down below and I'm, I'm probably going to start carrying over that little trend over to the following week. So whoever wins, I guess, will be in the next video. So um, thank you so much for watching, guys. Really do appreciate it. Um, and that's really going to be it. No clever segue out of here. I'm just going to end it as is. And you guys, you have a good one.